Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader, and I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly in Market Update for Wednesday, August the 8th, 2018. Well, let's go ahead and take a look and see how these markets ended up today. And uh, first, if we take a look at the queues, uh, you see we have a nice uh, green day here. Uh, bullish engulfing candle set up. Uh, you know, a little uh, chop throughout the day there, but uh, closed very nice near highs. So, uh, you know, but very low volume. If we look down here, you can see this is, uh, you know, below average volume. So, uh, you know, uh, the spiders, uh, I'm going to back this out a little bit for you so you can see we are very close to all time highs, you know, but we, we do have a doji candle. So, uh, you know, I mean, everybody is bullish. We have a lot of uh, trend and momentum in this case, but, uh, you know, it's just going to be important to stay above this uh, resistance line right here of this prior high and then uh, go on to make all time highs. We certainly don't want to roll over there and, uh, you know, have some type of uh, a, a bearish move. Uh, IWM, uh, we, we do have, uh, yeah, I guess, good news, bad news, a lot of chop in it. Uh, we do have a, a big bottoming tail. We, uh, you know, broke down through the uh, 20 and uh, the 50, but we did come back up. So, uh, you know, that's the good news. Got that spinning top. So uh, nice recovery. Uh, you know, so hopefully uh, that'll continue on to uh, new highs. But you can see here we've been in this range. So, uh, you know, we have some work to do in the, uh, you know, uh, Russell 2000 small caps. Uh, the diamonds uh, pulled back a little bit today, but, you know, it's, it's, it's within this tight range here. You can see, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, uh, one, once again, as long as we can bounce off of this and go back up, uh, you know, we could even if we extend this uh, 20, you know, we could come back, bounce off of that 20 and go up. But, uh, you know, the main thing is to, uh, you know, uh, keep that going in the bullish uh, movement as I suppose as long as you're a bull, that would be. Uh, the IBB, uh, we, we did pull back a little bit, but we are have an inside bar formation. So, uh, you know, uh, no harm, no foul yet. Uh, we, we've got these... Uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, two marks here that we, we need to watch the, uh, you know, uh, support and resistance. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, go on and uh, break through there. And you can see here, you know, we are near the all time highs, but the same thing as we discussed uh you know, a minute ago is we want to, you know, get to the other side and then bounce off as, as support. And then uh, fast look at uh, GLD and we had a green candle there, uh, you know, so a uh, little recovery on that for at least uh, today. And TLT, a uh, little green candle there as well. Now let's go ahead and jump into uh, Holly real fast and see how she did today. Uh, the Holly Grill had 21 trades for a profit of 242, and the uh, risk on profit was 438. So Holly uh, Grill, the original, had a very very good day, and you can just see the uh, histograms, uh, both of them looking very very nice. Now Holly 2.0 didn't do quite as well. Uh, she had 14 trades, and you can see the chop she experienced here on the profit lost 19 cents. And then on the risk one, she lost 23 cents, but you can just see the chop. So, uh, you know, we'll take a look at some of the individual trades here in a minute. Holly Neo had 34 trades, so she was very, very active. Lost 45 cents on the uh, profit, and you can see the histogram here. What a choppy day she had with that. And the Holly Neo made a dollar ninety four, uh, and you can see here she she had some chop, but obviously uh, ended up very very nice. So how did we end up? We ended up with sixty nine total trades for today, dollar seventy eight profit, six dollars and nine cents uh, risk on profit. So uh, you know, bottom line is it was a uh, you know nice day for Holly for the week. We're at two hundred thirty nine trades. 1105 profit, 1745 risk on profit. Now let's take a look at some of the trades that went into this uh, on the uh, Holly uh, Neo INNT, and and you can see here the little uh, 
you know, uh, had the uh, little triangle or the wedge, as some people call it, and, uh, you know, it responded very well, a 50 cent uh, profit. If you held till the end of the day, 67 cents, and it did close off of highs, so there's actually a little bit more on there to be made. And uh, FDP was the best risk on trade, so you can see where she got in it, and it just uh, went up very, very nice. And she got out because she hit her stop, uh, you know, so she actually, uh, you know, got uh, taken out of the trade before it went on to be, and I'm sorry, I'm, uh, you know, uh, it was a timed exit, you know, my, my eyes sometimes don't follow right across there, so uh, we had the timed exit, and so, uh, you know, once again, if we use that man with machine, uh, you, you probably had no reason to get out of it in here, and it would have held a little bit longer, made some more profit. Now we click on here, and we go to our uh, Holly 2.0, and let's take a look and see uh, what trades went into that. And she's ready to populate. Here we go. And the best uh, trade was a short SPRO. And you can see where she got into it here, where she got out of it. Uh, so she made 35 cents. Had uh, you held one, you could have made 59 cents holding it till the end of the day. And that was the best uh, trade in both uh, categories. And now Holly Grail. And she is populating. Let's take a look and see uh, where that went. And her best trade was a short here CVNA and of course all you do is click on it and that takes you to the chart and uh, you can see uh, you know uh, she hit her profit target of a dollar and went on for a dollar 63 now I'm not sure what happened after hours but you can see there was a tremendous uh, uptick in it uh, after hours there but that was the best trade in both categories so that is your holly for today and we'll run through the fangs real fast uh, just to see what happened here and amazon uh, closed very very nice nice green candle uh, looks like uh, just about average volume facebook a little doji candle inside bar formation apple uh you know uh you know gapped down and then came up closed very close to where yesterday closed google uh up a little bit and netflix uh pulled back so uh you know are we going to roll over here or are we going to you know uh you know head back uh up again so that'll be interesting to watch as time goes on and I'd like to introduce you again or invite you again to our trading room uh, that is open from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. We have Barry Anderson that, that hosts that for us. And so we would love to have you uh, join us. Uh, you know, I'll put the link right here into the uh, YouTube video comments. So all you have to do is copy and paste it. We'd be glad to have you uh, join us in the room. Uh, it is totally free. Uh, you do have to have a log on and a password to get in, uh, but you get that by supplying your email and we'll send you everything you need to know. I invite you to follow me on my blog at bullseyetrader.com. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter or StockTwits. If you like this video, go ahead and hit this thumbs up. Uh, you know, maybe leave a comment in the uh, comment section or share it with friends and like-minded people. If it's the first time you're seeing this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll never miss one. Hey, I want to thank you for joining us today, and God bless.